Hola, chicas. Welcome to the Lifelinks Podcast, where we share how the past influences the current day so you can choose a future based on a true identity because we're not blending in. I'm your host, Consuelo Crosby, and also the creator of this content. If you want to chat more about what we talk about on this show, please reach out to me on whatever platform you enjoy on social media. We're available at Lifelinks or on our website at thelinks.com. That's L-N-X-X. And I'd love to engage with you more on these topics and hear more of what you have to say about them. Hola, chicas! Ta-da! Here I am, Season 3, Episode 1, or 51, because we're continuing on. And welcome to the recorded audio-video version of the Lifelinks podcast. I'm so happy to have tried this format out and eternally grateful to both Riverside.fm for their remote podcasting opportunities through video and audio, as well as Descript, who has been with me from the start, all of which I would heard neither of had it not been for my podcast processing platform of Captivate. Thank you, all three of you, for making this a new career. Who would have known that I could do audio engineering? I can't. They do it. I just push buttons. But welcome. I have been very, very busy over the break. And honestly, I really am grateful that you gave me these two weeks off to recharge, to go dig in my garden to just take a break. It can be really exhausting. And even though I am a total extrovert and I love talking and I love engaging with new concepts and talking to people, I just get tired of hearing myself talk sometimes. I know my husband won't believe it, but it's truth. So again, welcome. This is a very exciting season for us. We're going to have a different format not just in the audio video version, but with an interview version. So I have been busy interviewing these amazing, amazing, powerful women that I can't wait to share with you this season. And if if you would like to participate on the podcast, then just reach out to me either at our website at the links, that's lnx.com. Or you can DM me through the social media at Lifelinks, LNXX as well. It may be easier for me to just capture that email. So go ahead, see us on our website, and we'd love to share your story because honestly, these stories are unbelievable. Not only from what they've experienced in life, but what they are bringing to us. These women have given me so much hope, and I'll tell you why. Sometimes, by the time you come to my age, which is 58, almost 59 in October, Scorpio, (laughs) that you begin to get a little leery, I think, about life moving forward, especially recently. You heard me talk about that at the end of season two. I felt like at the end of season two, with everything that was going on with the Supreme Court and with the states making decisions, that I felt like, gosh, my entire lifetime had been spent fighting for this. And it felt like in one fell swoop, in one week, even though I know it took years, it was all gone. And that can feel really defeating. It can feel like I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I want to do something that's invigorating and fun and less about the fight. But at the same time, I can't let it go, right? So the beauty of season three of the Life Links podcast, the beauty of interviewing these women is that they have renewed my hope, my faith, that there are so many others out there creating a new way of living, a new system, a new way of treating women, of creating a system 
to support women, yes, but not only support them, to actually create the system in which they will be successful, successful financially, successful in their lifestyles, in their life choices. And the fact that what these women, many of them founders, have started, I can't believe it hasn't been done before. It just seems so true to nature, so true to necessary. And yet I know it hasn't been done before because the system didn't allow it. So that's a long-winded version of saying thank you to the women out there who are doing amazing, amazing work in creating a different world for women. And I hope to have you all on here at one point, but honestly, the ones who I've met so far, thank you for renewing my faith, for renewing hope in what will be still a hopefully long life, and for giving me season three to be so exciting for our listeners. So every other week, obviously not this one, starting next week, that will be our 52nd episode. On August 10th, we are going to have our first interview with a woman named Olga Espiritu, who is a wealth financial planner. Oh, I love her. I wish I lived in Miami, I tell you. I would be bothering her all the time, but you know what? She doesn't even consider it a bother. She absolutely loves hearing from women any question that you could possibly have even the most simplest about your financial stability, your financial gains, your planning. She's ready for you, ladies. So take a look at our social media this week. We're going to start putting out her information. You can be ready to listen to the episode next Wednesday. And I think you'll be really excited. And again, renewed hope, renewed faith that someone's out there watching out for you and has the answers. So, welcome to this first episode of Season 3, Episode 51, where you just see me, but you actually see me. And if you're only hearing us through the podcast platform, then hop on over to our YouTube channel at Life Links, L-N-X-X, and you can see me in person, finally. Except for those of you who have been our guests in person. This is going to be your way to check me out. <laughs> Any recommendations, I will take. Any of them. For a woman who was the only female engineer in her university and in her first job, I'm ready. Nothing phases me. Help me out. <laughs> so... I wanted to bring this season forward to bring this episode to you very casually, very open and just giving you a start to where I've been over the last couple of weeks. And I really, really appreciate you having the patience to hold on until I came back because the very first thing I did was to just go dig in the dirt. And I mean, quite literally, dig in the dirt. After our celebration of our one-year anniversary on July 14th, I turned off everything and didn't think twice and just went out into my yard. That is something that I've always felt connected to in Mother Nature, in the earth, even though I am a total city girl. You won't find me camping. You will find me climbing glaciers in the middle of Patagonia. But there's something about literally getting my hands dirty, literally putting things into the ground and creating life that just has me centered again. And someone told me that that is a thing that some people, like myself, get literally grounded by connecting in the earth again 
And so during this time, these two weeks, especially now, because for us in California, especially in the North Bay, this is the height of our season. This is the height of our summer. It's the height of our harvesting. And it's just really amazing that I slowed down and realized that Mother Nature is putting stuff out there stuff, putting life out there, putting this harvest out there so regularly. For instance, right around the time that kids are getting out of school, my plum tree is popping. My plum tree is going nuts. This is the one I put in the ground. It's a Santa Rosa plum. And then Shortly, right on its heels, when I have too many plums to know what to do with and everyone's done with the plum pies and the plum torts and the canned plums, the blackberries explode. And those blackberries, oh my Lord, for you in the Pacific Northwest or perhaps on the East Coast, ugh, fresh berries, right? Any way you want them. Holy moly. Amazing. And then just right when those are kind of okay, this wild plum that I only now realized was planted by Luther Burbank back at the beginning of the 1900s, in the 1920s, I think, he just had this horticultural sense to bring these Japanese plum trees and cross them so that we get these Burbank plums that are wild here in Oakland, and they just go nuts. And you know what I decided to make with them this time? A Chinese plum sauce. Little sweet, little sour, definitely tart. Oh, I'm going nuts with that. And when I'm up there, I see my Granny Smith apples are about to come. Then there's the quince. That's for my membrillo. Then there's the Asian pears. And that's only the fruit. That is only the fruit. And why am I telling you all this? I haven't even gotten to the vegetables. Because I realized a couple things. One, I realized that Mother Nature has its way if we really slow down and take a look. Mother Nature has its way of saying, I'm here. Even though you may take me for granted, even though you may overlook the fact that I'm right here, that I'm providing for you, and you may or may not take it, but I am giving to you. And there is plenty. There's plenty, not only for me, but for every one of my friends that I can cook for, that I can give away food to. And I thought, gosh, that sounds like an amazing partner to me. That sounds like, wow, true love. Love of a mother, love of a partner, where you're there for them, you're giving to them. There's plenty for everyone. And it's okay if they don't take it. It's okay. So maybe that was part of the grounding. Maybe that's why I love to be out there in nature like that. And the second reason, and this has more to do with the vegetables I plant throughout the year. And right now I have green beans and tomatoes, cucumbers, herbs, strawberries. Yes, fruit, but annual. And the reason they get me so excited and again, this is just dawning on me because I finally took a break. Is that every night I go through and I check, make sure all the plants are okay, make sure they're watered, make sure there's no critters getting into them. And then the first thing I do in the morning, after I make my latte, is I go out in the yard and I go through each plant to see what changed overnight. 
Did anything ripen? Did anything grow? Can anything be harvested? And again, I thought, wow, what an invitation to get me out of bed in the morning. I mean, a latte will do it. But this excitement to see what changed overnight, what happened? Is there anything waiting for me? Is there something I can harvest and have for dinner tonight fresh off the ground? And between those two things, the realization of this deep natural love being given to us from the earth and the excitement that something might be waiting for me in the morning, I tell you, that just sets a very soulful tone for me about living life. I think between those two things, the ability to give love in a way that is not suffocating, in a way that is not forceful, and to be excited every morning to see what might have changed overnight. I think that's going to be a nice compass for me in this next season. To stay through that into our solstice at the end of the year, which will be the end of our season for season three. So on that note, hopefully you felt so much hope, so much joy, so much excitement that there are a lot of people out there creating for you, creating a life for you, an opportunity for you to be seen, be heard, be embraced, be successful. From Mother Earth to your fellow amigas, this rest of the year is going to provide that opportunity for you to listen to these women and their stories And feel the connection that they are here for you. They are here for themselves and their own success. And together, all of that, that giving and taking, that excitement, we will not only persevere, we will joyfully be successful in the rest of this season, in this year. I know it. I can feel it. I still have the dirt in my fingernails. I can feel it. My son-in-law called me the Pachumama. I get it. No disgrace, (laughs) no offense to the real Pachumama, but feel the joy, ladies. Get your hands dirty, create life, and be grateful whatever we've been given. So just as a reminder, because two weeks has been a long time, everyone has been off, and for any of our new listeners... I would really, really appreciate it if you would take the time to both subscribe to our podcast and you subscribe right through whatever your favorite streaming platform is for the podcasts. That way you make sure you don't miss an episode. They will come directly to you and take the time to write a review because we really would like to hear what you loved, what you wish you had more of what you found like intriguing, but a little hmm, anything. You can also reach out and share your story and your comments with us on our website at thelinks.com, L-N-double-X. And and let's get together. Let's chat about what's on your mind. What are you feeling? What do you hope for? How do you get grounded? How are you going to finish the rest of this year with that hope and joy and excitement of what's going to happen this morning? What is it that's going to wake you up, have you walk out in life and go, wow, this is new. I didn't see this coming. So take a moment, check out our website, check out our social media. You definitely want to listen to Olga next week. I tell you, we are all going to make it, ladies. We are going to be there in our success mode because of women like Olga and the other women on this season who are showing us the way. One less thing to learn and one more thing to join in 
and have the help and support of other women out there who have already figured it out and just want to share with us. So again, subscribe, review, share some love, share the social media with your friends. Let them know about us. Step into your truth, ladies. Ciao. Really appreciate the time you take to rate and review the podcast. Get the backstory and what you've heard here today and reach out to us at thelinks.com. That's L N double X. Because it's about time, it's about us. Stay in the groove on our social media at Lifelinks and get ready to make your move, ladies. Viva!